hi guys in this tutorial i will show you how we can add preloader in your website so someone of in the comment asked for a tutorial about preloader so i will show you how we can add any preloader in your website elementor website or any wordpress website finding a preloader in the internet is very easy actually you can search for free preloader and you will find tons of pre-built preloader so you can just use any of this so i will show you how we can use any preloader in your website or we will create a preloader of our own using the easiest method okay so as you can see this is a preloader in code pen this is the preloader i will show you how we can add this preloader in your website so adding preloader is actually very easy we have to switch the code pen view to editor view so that we can see all of our codes in here so as you can see we need some html some css and some javascript or jquery first of all let's add this html so this html you need to add in your theme body just under the body tag we will use a third party plugin to edit the, add this code in our theme so the plugin is called simple custom css and js we will use this plugin to insert any css js or html code in your website let's go to this css and js as you can see we don't have any files so first of all we need to create a file that will contain our html code then we will create a custom css file you can insert this css in your custom css section as well then we will insert our javascript so let's create a add new html click this button and give it a name any name let's say html and make sure it is placed in header and just copy this loader wrap we don't need any bottom section this content section we don't need this we just need this one so let's copy this paste in here save perfect so now we need to add our css but in this example this css is using scss so we don't need this css we just need pure css so click this little arrow click view compiled css okay as you can see the scss is now converted to css we only need the css that is associated with loader so as you can see this is the loader we need to copy this whole thing this loader wrap everything that says loader so copy this you can add this css to your theme custom css i am just adding in this plugin so click add css paste in here publish and lastly we need this javascript or jquery so let's click add js and copy this js replace this dollar sign with jquery to avoid any conflict just re uh, replace that dollar sign with the word jquery and in here you can set it to header or footer or anything in our case let's set it to header click publish now let's check our page if anything works as you can see our loader is loading perfect if you go to any page the loader is showing but it is not showing full screen because our header the z index of our header is bigger than our loader so you can just change it in our css change the z index of this loader wrapper so make it like very big let's save and if we refresh as you can see our loader is now loading in full screen so this is how we can use any of this pre-built preloader now i'll show you how we can create our own preloader using animated gif so first of all we need search for a perfect animated gif for our loading animation i think this is a cool on okay so download that animated loading image and go to media and upload your image so i have already uploaded our loader image in here perfect so now again let's 
add some HTML. Let's make name it HTML. I'll head anything you want. We need a div. We need to create a div for our loading. So let's add a div and let's give it an ID of loading. You can give any ID. Inside this loading div, we will insert our image that animated image we downloaded or we want to use as our loading animation. So let's add insert img tag. You can set any alt tag, tag or anything we don't need this now go to library click on this image you have uploaded and copy this link of our image paste it in here so now our image is set you can insert add any text if you want like loading anything you want you can insert inside of this loading let's set this now let's add a css we need to set add some css so that this loading animation take our full screen and the image shows in the middle of our screen so let's add some css let's target this loading id first of all we need to set this position to fixed And we will set the left, right, top and bottom everything to zero. So that it takes entire screen. Perfect. And we can set a background color if we want so let's set a background color to white and we need to set our z index so that it falls on top of everything so let's add a z index perfect so our loading css is done let's make some changes to our images so that the image is exactly on the center of our screen so let's target our loading ideas and then the image so our idea of our div and the image inside of it first of all let's set the margin to zero so that there is no margin we will set this position of this absolute for our image we will use absolute positioning and let's set this to top 50% and left 50% and then we need to add a transform value so that it sits exactly in the center of our screen so the trans let's add a transform and we will translate it by minus 50% to minus 50% perfect and we can set the maximum width as well so max, max width for our image will be 100% and height auto okay so now everything is set let's set this and let's refresh as you can see our loading image is on the center and our background is showing but it is visible all the time so let's hide it so that if our content is loaded let's hide this so we need to add this some jquery code so let's add a jquery and we can set it in header or footer anything you want anywhere you want and the jquery will be the 
it is a very simple jquery so let's add jquery and here we will use window dot load okay so it will be window dot load function i'll provide the code in the comment section so you can just copy paste we need to target our id of our div so that was loading perfect and we will fade out okay let's save this and let's check as you can see our load preloader is now working perfectly so it is showing fast and when all the content is loaded the preloader is just going back as you can see so this is how we can create any page loader preloader in our elementor website or any of these websites all we need is some simple code and we need to insert it in our theme so this was the tutorial i hope this will be helpful for you guys and i will see you in the next tutorial